Welcome back to The Pickle. In the last video, we watched how the championship odds changed through each stage of worlds, based on millions of Monte Carlo simulations. That video was mostly just showing results, not a coding tutorial, because it's really complicated. But what if I told you we could get a similar result using only Excel? Ah, a very important note. This Excel method only applies to the eight-team knockout stage. It won't work for the Swiss stage because that format is much more complex. Yes, the tool that everyone has. In this video, I'll guide you step by step, from A to Z, to build a world's prediction model using just Excel. Anyone can do it. Let's get started. Step one, the ingredients, ELO rating. Okay, the first thing we need is the ingredient. That is the ELO rating of the teams. ELO is basically a number that represents each team's strength. Now the question is, where do you get ELO? You can reference the ELO on LOL Esports or use a custom system, like the one I've customized that you can. However, in this video, the ELO set I'm using is based on my personal assessment and I've entered it into sheet one of this file. As you can see, I'm using this set. My advice is, you should keep the difference between the strongest and weakest team around 180 to 200 ELO points. This is the soul of this model. Of course, you can completely customize these numbers based on your own opinions. Step two, converting ELO to power rating. We can't use ELO directly for calculations. We have to convert it into something called a power rating. The standard formula in ELO systems is 10 to the power of ELO divided by 400 equals power 10 B2 divided by 400. It looks a bit complicated, but you just need to type this formula in one cell, drag it whoosh all the way down, and we have the power rating for all eight teams. So what is this power rating and why do we need it? We'll use it right in the next step. Step three, creating the BO1 win rate matrix. This is where things get interesting, and it's when we use the power rating we just calculated. Power rating basically represents a team's power. To calculate the BO1 win rate, the formula is extremely logical. Team A's win rate against B equals A's power divided by the sum of A's power and B's power. Show formula equals C2 divided by open parenthesis, C2 plus C3 close parenthesis. It's like you have two fighters. One weighs 100 kilograms, the other 80 kilograms. The total weight is 180 kilograms. So the 100 kilogram fighter's chance of winning is 100 divided by 180. This power rating works just like that. You just need to set up this formula and drag it across the whole matrix. To be honest, I'm not great at Excel, so I did this part a bit manually. And the result? Boom! We have the BO1 win rate matrix. For example, Gen against AL will have a 64.8% win rate in a BO1. Step 4. Upgrading to the BO5 matrix, the magic formula. But everyone, the world's knockout stage is BO5, not BO1. In a best of five, the stronger team has a much higher chance of winning. So how do we convert this? we're going to use a magic formula from probability. Here, P is the BO1 win rate we just calculated in step three. Don't worry, you don't need to deeply understand where this formula comes from. Where G3 is the corresponding BO1 rate cell close parenthesis. Drag this formula across the entire matrix. And here it is. This is the BO5 win rate matrix we need. Step five. Calculating the tournament bracket. You need to have a hypothetical bracket for these eight teams. Okay, the weapon is ready. Now it's time to simulate the tournament. I'm going to assume a quarterfinal bracket like this. We'll calculate the chance of reaching the semifinals first. It's very easy. Let's take the T1 versus AL matchup as an example. AL's chance of reaching the semifinals is just their win rate against T1 in the BO5 matrix. We just type equals and point to the AL wins T1 cell. We do the exact same thing for the other three quarterfinal matchups. 
Step 6. Calculating Finals and Champion Odds This is the most brain-hacking part, but it's still just addition and multiplication. For example, AL's chance to make the finals. AL has to win semi-final 1, right? They could face G2 or top eSport. So, his finals chance equals AL's semi-finals chance times G2's semi-finals chance times AL's win rate versus G2 plus top eSport semi-finals chance times AL's win rate versus top eSport. See? We just take the numbers we already have and multiply and add them. A little tip here, just get the formula right for the first example, then drag it down for all eight teams to get the same format. After that, you just need to click into the formula for each team and move the cells to their correct positions. And finally, the champion odds. We do the exact same thing one more time, but for the final match. This time, the potential opponent for each team is one of the four teams from the other side of the bracket. We do the same process as the finals calculation, just upgrading it to include all four potential opponents. And here's the result. Based on the model before the quarterfinals started, Jen has 48% chance to win. T1 has 10%, and so on. So, as you've seen, no code, no supercomputers, just with Excel and a bit of ELO logic, we've built a pretty decent prediction model compared to the results from the Monte Carlo video. In fact, if I use the same ELO set that was used in the Monte Carlo simulation video, you would see almost identical results. What do you guys think of this method? Download the Excel file in the description below and try changing the ELO values yourself to see how the results change. Ah, one more cool thing. Remember at the start I said the GEN versus HLE match already happened? Now, instead of using our calculated numbers, I'll update the actual result. GEN's chance to make semis is 100% and HLE's is 0%. Immediately, you'll see GEN's championship odds jump up and other teams are also affected. This is the great thing about this Excel file. It lives and updates with real results. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm The Pikel. See you next time.